Okay, when we had talked about creating an offer, we were discussing about the price. Now, there are several pricing options. You can have a free version. You can have a one-time payment. You can have multiple payments, for instance, if you're offering a payment plan. Or you can have a recurring subscription payment. So let's go and set that up now. So, okay, we're in one of our options. And if you don't know how to get there, just go to your dashboard, products, and offers. So here we are, and I'm going to just click on the edit button. Now, I just randomly set this to $97, and now I would like to edit this price. So I click on edit, and I have the option to offer it for free, which it says price text override. I would obviously just cite, write the word free. The one-time payment is as exactly how we'd set it up originally, just, you know, a simple price tag, your currency, and any kind of price text override. Like if you, for instance, wanted to add, you know, $97 USD to, you know, let people know that's in US dollars. If you had a rather expensive item or you just wanted to offer multiple payments, you can do that here. All you have to do is, let's just say you have, I don't know, something that's quite expensive, maybe $300 plus or something, and we can just say payment amount is $100. We're going to do three months of that, okay? And then we're going to have it in U.S. dollars. Now, we're going to have a price text override, and this is three monthly payments, so let's absolutely do that. So let, we let our customers know three monthly payments of $100, okay? Now, this will automatically charge the customer this amount the minute they check out plus two more times, so for a total of three payments, okay? Now, if it was six months, it would go up to six payments, but it will be once a month. For instance, it says the first payment will be processed immediately, and then the members will maintain access until subscription is canceled or membership is revoked, okay? So once they have fulfilled this number of payments, then they won't get charged again. Now, the final method of payment is the recurring subscription. And what this is, so for instance, suppose you have a membership site or some sort of, uh, yeah, like a subscription or something like that. Maybe it's $19.99 a month. Uh, set your currency. Bill the customer every, let's say we're going to do it every month. You might want to do it once a quarter, uh, every six months, whatever. Let's, for now, we're just going to say once a month. And for now, we're just going to leave the trial period free. We'll talk about that later. And yeah, we can say, you know, $19.99 per month so that they know, okay? So then let's save this and let's just see what that looks like. So $19.99 per month. And of course, you can have a little bit more information in here as we've talked about in another lecture. Now, if you want to do a trial period, suppose you have a subscription service and you want to give some, you know, a little bit of time for people to test it out, well, by all means, you can certainly do that. So let's go... Just go back to here. And we're going to select a new plan. And let's do, um, oh, let's do so your $97 a month. And you're going to bill a customer uh, once a month, but you're going to give them a 14 day trial period, okay? And then we, we don't need a setup fee. This is if you really need to incorporate, you know, if you have a special setup for the student or whatever. Um, I'm just going to leave this blank. So now what happens here is after a 14-day period has passed, the student will then be charged $97 every month. Okay? You can also do it to week and year and things like that. Alrighty, those are your payment options for your course. I'll see you in the next lecture.